morning. I just wanted to jump in here and say uh, a couple of things around rest, share some things around rest and your period and understanding your cycle um, and feeling guilt, like the feelings of guilt and shame and unworthiness around resting. So the last couple of days, um, you know, I've talked about this with the cycle, your period being your winter, between your period and ovulation is your spring, ovulation is your summer, and between um, summer and your period is autumn or fall, and that's different phases of your cycle. And in each phase, you have different energy requirements, different needs, um, different needs to rest. And so during your period, it's your winter, it's more time for you to hibernate, to go inwards, to reflect, to just really rest if you need. And I have been the last few days in my winter, everyone, newsflash. And the first day of my cycle, I usually am a little bit like zapped and need, do need a bit of rest. And, and it hasn't always been where I've given myself the space to, sorry, my dog is making a lot of noise here, given myself the space to rest. Um, but I'm getting better at it. It's definitely an art. And I, I think I became a little bit, um, I was thinking about this this morning because I went for a swim with a friend in Manly. My phone battery died and I had no phone and I was, you know, stayed out and did a few things. And actually it was really lovely to just have no phone, no technology, couldn't be contacted. It was great and it actually did give me rest. Uh, and then I came home this afternoon and I actually had a nana nap because I really needed it. And same with the other day, I needed a nana nap. I had like, you know, a 45 minute nana nap because I just knew that if I didn't do that, I was going to be unproductive anyway. And we've got this ethic, this mentality in our culture that we have to work, 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 work. Busy is good. Busy, it's good to be busy. You know, it's like a badge of honor to be busy. Um, and a lot of us have been brought up with this belief that has been passed down to us that resting is not good, it's lazy to rest, um, you need to work hard all the time, um, work, 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 you know, like it's, it's, it, we've been, we've been conditioned this way. And so particularly women, we have this thing around having to constantly show up the same without understanding that our cycle is our hormones and our cycle actually have different requirements. We have different capabilities at different times of the month and we need to honour our body and our cycle and we're actually going to get more out of our month and more out of ourselves and be more productive if we actually do honour that. And that's what I have found, you know, in the last, particularly the last six months, I've been a lot more like honouring when I do need to rest and really becoming conscious of the stories that I'm telling myself around resting, um, around not working, um, having play. It's not okay to play, play and work, like all of those stories um, that we run in our head. And so I just wanted to share that with you because it's like it's a big deal for me to go, yeah, I just need to have a nap. And by the way, I used to nap before – I was made heaps of health changes. I used to have to nap every weekend because I was so freaking exhausted. And that was more to do with my health status than it was me honoring rest. Um, and I don't have to do that anymore. It's my energy levels are in a very different, completely different to how they used to be. Um, so also paying attention to that as well, you know, like you need to honor that, but also be like, am I just exhausted? Like, am I exhausted? And is it because I'm not giving myself a rest or is it also because I'm not giving my body what it needs? So there's the rest and there's also the nourishment. So, yeah, just become aware of the stories that you're telling yourself. It's like, is it is, is it lazy to, I'm lazy if I rest. It's not okay to rest. I need to work hard. I need to be busy. Um, was that something that was rewarded in your home with your primary caregivers? For me, it was. It was like, psh, you know, um, it's good to work. I felt like I would only get approval if I was busy 
and I have appeared busy and it's 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 been ingrained in me to be busy 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 um and it's like undoing those and unlike undoing all those processes and layers that have been deeply ingrained in me so I just want to share that I think it's really important particularly how we come to the end of the weekend it's like how have you how do you feel by the end of the weekend are you exhausted because you've like lived it pushed it to the max done too much and where are you in your cycle in relation to that and you know how is this going to then have a knock-on effect for the rest of the week um because it will and i'm going to be talking a little bit more about this with people that um that are doing the 28 day reboot which starts the february 1st if you're interested in doing a reboot you're feeling a little bit exhausted you need better energy levels and stuff like that which is what we're talking about but there's also and there's the nourishment part of yourself that needs to be honored and talking about the cycles a bit more and really honoring that and and using specific strategies to target your energy and hack your energy and making sure that you're getting the best and you're utilizing your body and giving your body what it needs so that it can rest um and when it does rest it rests effectively and it restores and rejuvenates so that you then can be your most productive and you can show up as your best version and you can do all the things you want to do you're not just like dragging the train chain like being like oh my god like i need coffee to survive the day um it's it's a big one hey like we we're all, everyone's walking around exhausted and not honoring that and honoring when we need rest and not beating ourselves up for it and really resting not being on your phone not being on the computer like like maybe it is having a nap maybe it is going and sitting without technology and journaling maybe it is going for a swim in the ocean or being in nature like what it, what is it that's going to recharge your batteries <laughs> is the big one and honoring that with your cycle so, um fellas and <laughs> this is specifically obviously for females but any guys watching this you know like the same applies maybe not from a hormonal point of view because you guys are the same hormonally all the time um but you don't have the fluctuations that we do but you know how can you honor yourself with rest where what are the beliefs that you have around rest um are you feeling rejuvenated do you what's your energy like what do you like when you wake up here's a question i ask my clients all the time on a scale of one to ten uh what's your energy like when you wake up in the morning during the day what's your do you feel rejuvenated or do you feel exhausted that's a good one and just becoming aware of when your energy slumps are as well and not just at the weekend or you know you need to pay attention this is called awareness <laughs> you know bringing awareness into when you have energy slumps is it related to how you're nourishing and fueling your body or is it related to the way the thoughts that you're having it's probably a combination of all of the above or is it a combat and is it how your nervous system is functioning like is it in fight or flight or is it you know calm um and it's a combination of, of all those things and we're going around in uh reactive mode constantly on a, in alarm and not being able to calm down and the foundation of that is how we're fueling ourselves the way we're sleeping the nutrition we're getting into our body so that our body can function our nervous system can function the way it needs to um as well and then on top of that is the way we manage it and lay and you know um the stories that we tell us and or the tools we use to manage that so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. If you've got any insights or ahas um, on that, please write in the comments um, and I'll see you soon. I hope you have a beautiful week. All right, ciao.